Hello, my name is Jacob Pilbot, and today I'm going to show you how to make an abstract background using GIMP. Um, we're going to use the, um, the flame tool, which can be found filters, render, nature, flame. So we'll get to that in a little while. Here's a few results that I've done in the past. It's pretty sweet looking, you know. It's pretty cool. I like it. Or that one. Kind of a 3D effect. Whatever. You know. Okay, so first thing you want to do is fill create a new layer fill it with black okay now we're gonna go to filters render nature and flame okay this area is all up to you basically the only thing you want to avoid is too much noise going on like that right there increases the noise. Gamma increases the noise. The lower kind of boring, so somewhere in between. Um, these three don't matter as much in this case. And then adjust where you want your image. Okay, if you don't like this flame, which I don't, I'm gonna click edit. And then this is where it generates a bunch of random images that can all if you look around for a while you can find some really cool ones. So I'm going to go through different styles. That one looks cool. And if you like it, that but something you want something similar to it, then the slower you make the speed, the closer they'll be um, to the original image. So if I move this down pretty low, you see how some of them are similar, but they start to split off a little. Um, I'll try that one. And then as you click in the center, it'll generate new ones. And if you click on any of these, then it'll pick that one, and uh, it'll generate ones that are close to that. So I'll stick with this. Click OK. Kind of like what that looks like. That's pretty cool looking. Adjust where you want it placed on your image, and then click OK. Now there is my image, my flame. Okay, so create a new layer. Fill that one with black. Okay, so there we have our flame that can move independently of the layer itself. I'm just, since I repositioned this a little bit to what I want even more, and I have these yellow lines, which is the layer border, that kind of bothers me, so layer, layer to image size. And that kind of resets it back to whatever it was starting at. Okay, so next thing is you want to duplicate your flame layer. You want to, on your top layer, Go to Filters, Edge Detect, Neon. Okay, so this is already looking pretty cool. You want to raise up the amount just to whatever you want. Don't make it super bright or it'll just be a bunch of white. No texture. Okay, so once you selected that, there's mine. Okay, now you have the option. There are several ways you can go about this. I'm going to try merging down. So now this is just all one layer. And then you simply do something like colorize. And I'll I I guess I'll try red. You can adjust the saturation and lightness. And click okay. And there is a basic flame abstract. Not a super pretty one, but that's okay. Uh, something else you could do afterwards. Let's back up a few times by hitting Control Z. Alright, now we're back to two layers. I'm going to motion blur the top layer. So go to f filters, blur, motion blur. And then here on our little preview, I'm going to adjust. That's probably too much. There we go kind of like the angles going, kind of like an arrow. That's pretty cool. So click OK. So there we got that. I'm going to move this layer on top so it kind of shows through more. Now I'm going to merge these down again. And then color, colorize. That's looking pretty sweet. Oh yeah, cool blue. OK, so there you go there is a basic abstract flame for you um, obviously I just made this image really small 420 by 300 but 
if you wanted to make several and you can put them on a large background that would be a pretty cool desktop that you could use okay so that's it for today